Hello, welcome to this new video. Uh, I know that uh, maybe you're struggling to create your materials or uh, control them. So I just want to show you two basic parameters that are going to help you a lot on uh, this journey on how to uh, create better renders, but uh, mostly on how you can control the way the materials look after you, um, you modify them. So let's go into it. So we're going to talk about specular and roughness. So for that, I'm going to add a sphere. So I'm going to go to edit, a geometry and a sphere. So I'm going to scale it up so I could, so we could just see better uh, what we're talking about. I'm going to push OK and then I'm going to select it and move selection and snap to round. OK. So uh, first of all, what we uh, want to do is change this environment. Remember that Kishet is like a sphere. So uh, we have an HDRI map that is uh, wrapping this sphere. So uh, it's casting like to the middle, to the center of this environment. So if you can, as you can see, um, there is no much contrast on this environment. There's a lot of gray. So uh, we mostly see an entire uh, illuminated sphere. So let's change that in order to have better uh, vision of the uh, reflections and all that stuff that is going to be affecting the material. So let's go to environment and select uh, whatever um, HDR, HDRI map that you want. I'm going to hold alt and select the, this HDRI so it creates an, it creates another environment so I can always go back to the first one. And as we can see, we have just like a matte sphere. There's nothing going on in here. But let's see what um, the deal with those parameters. So let me let me just change the GPU mode so it's faster to render. So I'm going to double click the sphere. So I go into the material tab. And as we can see, we have a diffuse type. Let's change it to plastic so we can control diffuse and specular. So diffuse basically tells me the color that is going to be the, the material. So I can just put some blue, uh, green, whatever I want. So I'm going to put it right here, not that uh, saturated, so I can see what's happening with the material. So uh, first of all, specular. Specular, uh, we can say that it's uh, the intensity of the reflections that uh, you're going to see into the material. So let's see. But for now, specular, well, specular, specular is mostly driven by a color. Um, we don't have any number parameters. So uh, let's see. For now, what uh, specular is set as a white color. So remember, uh, white equals to one or one hundred percent. So we have one hundred percent reflection. As we can see, here is the sun. I'm gonna zoom in. So we can see this little sun flare here. And if I move my camera, there is the sun. I can see this factory, those buildings in here. And if I rotate it, I can see that is the reflection of this image that is right here. What happens if I change the specular to black? Now, uh, this we could say that this is going to be like 0% intensity on the reflections. So, as you can see now, there is nothing reflected on the mater material of the sphere. So, if I change the specular and I can just go here and control it by our grayscale, we have 0% uh, reflections, we have 100% reflections, but we can go right into the middle, like 15%. And as you can see, reflections are not that intense. And we can go lower if we want to reduce those reflections, or we can go higher, uh, but not that into the 100%. So we control, we can control all the reflections. So that is that that that's the thing with specular. I'm gonna uh, put it right into 100%. I'm going to duplicate this sphere. I'm going to go to scene, click, uh, duplicate selection, and I'm going to move it. I'm going to put it right here so we can compare it. So I'm going to click OK. And let's see. I'm going to double click here. As you can see, this material is separated because we have here this uh, hashtag number one. So that means that is not linked to the other uh, sphere material. And I'm going to change specular to black so we can see the difference uh, at the same time. Now, let's talk about roughness. So for this, I'm going to also duplicate this. Um, uh, duplicate selection. I'm going to move it. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to 
put this. I'm gonna click OK, double click to this, it's also unlinked. Um, what's happening here is I'm almost out, uh, out of environment, so I'm gonna click in the environment tab and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. So size, I'm gonna put like, um, I don't know, 200. Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna double click that sphere to go into the, uh, the material tab of that sphere, um, material properties, and I'm gonna set the specular to white again. So now let's see what happens with um, the roughness parameter. As we can see now, uh, we don't have like a color parameter. Instead of that, we have a numerical or, or the parameter is driven by, an, by, numerical, uh, by a numerical factor, by a number. So we can say that a roughness is basically the sharpness the definition of those reflections and if we go to zero we can understand this that like the amount of imperfections that are on the, that are on the surface uh let's not um think this about like the bump of uh like a bump like this uh, actual texture of of the surface of the object but instead like kind of um i don't know how to say it, but okay let's think about how how um the amount of imperfections that are on the surface of the sphere or the material and remember that uh, by, for now as it's like a very uh, crisp sphere reflections are reflected just uh, in the same direction so we can see sharp edges sharp reflections we can zoom in and actually we can see the line of that uh, kind of bridge that is up there and the sun and all that stuff but if we change the, that number and if we increase it, by basically what we're going to do is increase the amount of imperfections that are on the surface of the uh, sphere. And let's go to 0 0.05 and let's see what happened with that, uh, with the definition of that reflections. As we can see, we before we had a, like a very crisp line here that was the reflections of the bridge that is over there. But as we increase the number, we can see that this reflection is getting a kind of blurry. So if we go up, the, we're going to lose those, uh, that definition of the reflections. And we can have a, like a spread reflection. Like we can see it and basically it, it's more um, uh, apparent on the highlights. So as we can see now, the sun, instead of having these nice lines and these nice flares, the very defined flares, now we have like a very blurry uh, white spot with a lot of noise. So roughness is gonna set, is gonna give us the definition, basically it's gonna give us the amount of uh, imperfections on the surface and that number is gonna uh, modify the way that reflections are uh, defined on the surface and how the, how uh, crisp they are in the material. So if we go higher, we have uh, very blurry reflections. If we go lower, we have very sharp edges on those reflections. So we can, uh, I'm gonna just put this, I'm gonna click it, duplicate selection. I'm gonna put it right here and I'm gonna uh, just change the number. If we go up a very high, uh, actually the top of the, the top of this is value is one. And we can see it's like a very rough uh, material, but mostly, uh, and for, for uh, as an example, for a tire that is basically kind of a, like a very rough material, I mostly use uh, zero point one. That's kind of the 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 parameters that I use. Uh, but you can control it, and you can create like these matte materials, rough materials, very shiny materials, very crisp materials. Just understanding how specular and roughness work. So that's it. Thank you for watching this tutorial and I hope to see you on the next video.